Hello everyone. We are continuing the chapter Art, Truth and Politics by Harold Pinder, Lesson 3. In the last class, we uh, explained uh, paragraph 1 to paragraph 6 and we are continuing from there. Before going into the lesson, uh, let us have a recap of the portions we have learned in the last class. In the first uh, six paragraphs, Harold Binder observes the following things. 1. In art, there is no difference between real and unreal, truth and untruth. In real life, but it is not so. Secondly, it is difficult to find the truth in drama, that means in art. However, however difficult it is, we must search for truth, that is the duty of every artist now three political dramas political drama political theater political dramas should not be spoon food spoon feeding the ideas it should be objective objective means without taking any part without supporting any particular group and the author should give the freedom give freedom to the characters to develop themselves the characters should not be limited so these were the things that we discussed in the last class and we are continuing from uh, para 7 c as every single person here knows the justification for the invasion of iraq was that Saddam Hussein possessed a highly dangerous body of weapons of mass destruction. So, uh, you know that America invaded Iraq. When America invaded or attacked, conquered Iraq, the justification given to uh, this invasion was that Saddam Hussein possessed, Saddam Hussein had a highly dangerous body of weapons of mass destruction and and the the mass destruct uh, mass weapons were some some of which could be fired in 45 minutes uh, bringing about appalling devastation right? that means shocking destruction so america i mean you know that america is pay, playing some kind of a big brother uh, or world police america thinks that america had the power to control any other nation so the justification given was that saddam hussein had a lot of destructive weapons that could be uh, fired off in 45 minutes that uh, that was the justification given we were assured that that was true but pinder says that it was not true we were told that Iraq had a relationship with Al-Qaeda. You know that Al-Qaeda is a terrorist organization which was founded in 1988. We were told that Iraq had a relationship with Al-Qaeda and shared the responsibility for the atrocity, cruelty in New York of September 11th, 2001. So that was also another uh, news spread by America that Iraq had connections with Al-Qaeda. But Pinder also says that we were assured that this was true but the, it was not true and then we were told that iraq threatened the security of the world we were assured it was true it was not true so in this paragraph um, pinder was saying uh, that there were certain news there were certain ideas spread by america but it was not true see the explanation pinder attacks american activities in the middle east he corrects many notions spread by media for example america spread the idea that saddam hussein possessed uh, destructive weapons that is why america attacked iraq pinder says that it was not true another idea spread by america is that iraq had connections with al-qaeda and had a share in the september 11 attacks it was not true iraq is a threat to the world america said it was not true Hope you understood that moving on to para 8 a short para the truth is something entirely different the truth is to do with truth is related with how united states stand understands its role in the world and how it chooses to embody exercise it see explanations of why america spread these lies america thinks that america has an important role in the world 
America wants to know that America wants to know show that importance to other countries as well we have uh, heard the terms like big brother or we have heard the term like world police America pretend to be world police that is the reason why America is spreading these lies Paranayan but before I come back to the present I would like to look at the recent past by which I mean United States foreign policy since the end of the world war so uh, Pinder says that we should go back in the recent past that is uh, the end of by the policy followed by United States the foreign policy followed by United States since the end of Second World War. In order to understand the power exercised by America, we have to examine the foreign policies of America after the Second World War. I believe it is obligatory, it is required upon us to subject this period at, to at least some kind of limited scrutiny observation. We must observe this period, which is all that time allow here. Time will allow here. So we have very few uh, we have with us only very few time very uh, small time but within that time we have to examine this period we should examine america's foreign policies since the end of second world war from 1945 onwards we don't have much time but we must examine america's foreign policies during this period paraton everyone knows that everyone knows what happened in the soviet union and throughout Eastern Europe during the post-war period. Post-war period means uh, after Second World War. Everyone knows the activities of Soviet Union. Uh, everyone knows what all things uh, happened in Eastern Europe. The systematic brutality, violence, the widespread atrocities, cruelties, the ruthless suppression. Ruthless means without any pity. Ruthless suppression of independent thought. All this had been, has been fully documented and verified. Everyone knows about all these act activities that happened all around the world. Uh, explanation is that everyone, everyone uh, knows about the violence and cruelties happened in Soviet Union and uh, Eastern Europe. There was also suppression of freedom of expression. All these were known to the whole world. Para 11. But my contention, my disagreement is that the US crimes in the same period have only been superficially recorded, let alone documented that is written down let alone acknowledged admitted let alone recognized as crimes at all see this means that the u.s crimes that took place during this post-war period is not at all recorded they are only superficially recorded uh, it is not documented it is not acknowledged admitted it is not identified as crimes at all I believe this must be addressed. Harold Pinder thinks that this must be addressed, this must be uh, discussed and the truth has considerable bearing, considerable influence on the world. Why America is having such power over every other nations now? The reason is this, every crimes of America is being covered up by them. Although constrained, although restricted, to a certain extent by the existence of soviet union the united states action throughout the world made it clear that it had concluded it had carte blanche to do what it like carte blanche means complete freedom to do whatever it like so with the presence of soviet union in the world we were able to understand some of the crimes that done by america and america thinks that it had carte blanche that is complete freedom to do whatever it liked. I will read out the explanation as well. Pinder observes that the cruel policies of all other nations in the world is known all over the world. However, crimes of America is not known, not written down, not ad admitted. They are covered up. However, with the presence of Soviet Union, many of the US crimes were known to the world. America thinks that it has carte blanche, that is, complete freedom to do 
whatever it likes so we will stop here read paragraph 7th to 11th after watching the video lesson thank you